What's good, y'all? Yeah, um, I'm gonna talk about the lions at the shot failure poop bears, aka the shit toilet care bears. And what I want to talk about in this game is it's redemption. It's redemption. There's there's pride in this game. I know I want this team to lose out to get a high draft pick for a quarterback. But with that being said, we cannot lose to this team twice, man. It would be an embarrassment if we lose this game again. I don't give a damn what's at stake. I don't care about the draft pick right now. It's it's an embarrassment to lose to Mr. Trubisky five straight times. It's an embarrassment. This is a joke. We cannot beat this guy for nothing. And he's one of the shittiest quarterbacks in the league. It's amazing. It's amazing. We can't beat him. It's amazing we can't. Everybody else can beat him. Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers treat him like a like a, a form a foreign stepchild or something. You know, destroying that man every time he go up against him. Like, even the Vikings, they destroy them. We play against them, we suck. We is terrible against this guy. Well, since Patricia took over the team, we haven't beaten him. We haven't beaten Mr. Trubisky at all. Mr. Trubisky get his best stats and all that against the Lions. And most of the stats against the Lions. Everybody else, he is trash against. It's an embarrassment. We cannot lose this game again. We can't. For my own pride and for my own fanhood, we cannot lose this game again. We lose this game again, I'm going off. I'm sorry. We got, we going up against probably the worst starting quarterback in football. Seriously, not even trying to be funny. The Bears had lost what? They've lost what, five games in a row? Now they're what, five and six now? They start off the season five and one. Now they're, now they're five and six. One game above the Lions. For real. And honestly, the Bears shouldn't have, the Shafiria Pooh Bears, they shouldn't have beat the Lions the first game. But we get, we was up 23, I mean, we was up 21 and three, and we choked the game away. We lost. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> it's embarrassing. He came back and beat the Lions. First half, you could tell Corey Odom was kind of calling the defense. But then they went to the old Matt Patricia standard bullshit defense, and they lost. So with this game, Corey Odom now got full control of the defense. He, he said, and some players said that there were some changes on his defense. There are some things they, it's, you're going to see a lot of the same thing on Sunday anyway. You are. You're going to see some of the same things, but you might see some different things as well. You know, they ain't going to be able to change the whole defense up in, in like one week, a week and some change. They ain't going to be able to change up the entire defense. Especially they've been working on that defense all summer and and the last couple of years. He ain't gonna be able to just change the defense overnight like that. But some of the concepts are gonna be the same, but I wanna see what he does different. Well maybe he hopefully Corey Utterland be more aggressive with the blitzes. I hope he does. I hope he send Trubisky more looks so he can throw interceptions. But it mainly send in more heat. He need to send the heat. Send the heat. Send the fire. Trubisky. Trubisky. He can't handle the pressure. When he's under pressure, he's going to make mistakes. That's what he does. Let me fix this camera a little bit. It's what he does. Well, it ain't the best. Oh, well. That's what he does. That's what he does best. When he's under pressure, he makes mistakes. 
he can't handle the pressure. And the Lions, Matt Patricia is, he's so smart and such a rocket scientist. It don't take a rocket scientist to know Trubisky can't handle the pressure. You see Green Bay bliss him. You see the Vikings bliss him. Why you don't do it? Why are we not blissing him? He should never get off like that on us, ever. He should have never got off on us in the first game this year. Never. McCoy only had more freedom in that defense, and they they went away from what was working. They were showing different looks. He was struggling badly against us. Then Matt Patricia, when they he started getting all conservative, no, nah, bro. And another thing about I hate Bob Patricia, he gets too comfortable with the lead, even though, even though he only got what two scores maybe. He have a fourteen point lead or a seventeen point lead and get very lethargic, get very comfortable, and it drives me insane. It drives me crazy. Why is we doing this? Why? It, it's. It's amazing that he does that. I'm glad he got, I'm glad they shit the mom out of here. He was terrible. His schemes are trash. And players didn't like him. The media didn't like him. The fans didn't like him. I don't think the, even the coaching staff didn't like him. Nobody liked Matt Patricia. And that firing was the best thing that happened to the Lions fan base this year. That guy's terrible. I'm sorry. Concepts is trash. All everything about his defense sucks. No, no blitzes, no stunts, no. There is no none of that. No sophisticated looks. Nothing. Nothing. Very basic. Very boring. Very lame. Duck defense. Terrible. Hopefully, Corey Evelyn does what he says he's going to do. I want to see what he could do. I hope he coached for his job. I hope he thrives. I hope he does well. And I'm not even trying to say that to be, oh, uh, man, bitch, you too, you try, you, don't you want to tank? Don't you do? Yeah, I, I mean, I want to, I want to have a couple more losses. I don't like losing, but I want to have a couple more losses for a quarterback because I think Matthew Stafford, I think he's, he's done. He's done with us. I, I'm sorry. Like, he can't get us over the top. I'm not saying he's the he's the worst quarterback in the league. I'm not saying that. But he's a loser. He is. I'm gonna call it how it is. He's a loser. It's not it's not all his fault why the Lions lose, but he does play a part. But I'm not about to go, but I'm gonna say this with Stafford. I don't think Matthew Stafford like Matt Patricia either. I just wanna let that come out there. I don't think nobody liked him. It was either his way or the highway. And that's why he got fired. But yeah, hopefully, maybe Stafford look better. He might have some energy and be enthusiastic to play. If you see Stafford ball out Sunday, that tells you a whole lot. I'm going to just tell you that right now. If Stafford balls out, you know, you know, you know he didn't want to play for Patricia. If he balls out, because Stafford been terrible this year. He had one okay game this year, and I was against the Falcons, and that wasn't even really a, gay, a great game. He had a great comeback. He had 340 yards and all that. But he had one touchdown. He wasn't great. Where is the Stafford from last year? Where is that Stafford at? Where, why is that Stafford not here? If we had last year's Stafford on this team right now, this team would probably be 7-5 and five right now. Real talk. Stafford, I'm going to tell you this. He helped cost us at least three or four games this year by himself with turnover, ill-advised turnovers, um, bad play, the, having drywalling and, and, and all that. He drywalls and, and on drives. Like, like, I don't need that no more. And then he holds on to the ball way too long. That's why he, another reason why he's getting sacked a lot this year, too. He been holding the ball on way too long, way too long. He hold on to the ball like he a mobile quarterback or something. It's one thing to hold on to the ball for too long and you a scrambling quarterback or you have mobility and you can extend the play and have the ball for a long time. 
as it opposes to Matthew Stafford not really being a scrambling quarterback, just sitting there, sitting there, and sitting there, can't go through his progressions. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't. But I had about enough of that shit. I'm done. I'm done. You in year twelve, you can't go. You still can't go through your fucking progressions. But yeah, I, I ain't about to go on Stafford like that, even though I kind of just did. But yeah, man, he got to show up this game. I want to beat the Bears for the fact is, I want to beat the Bears, and I'm tired of Judah Tribe with his stank booty ass coming up in my fucking live streams talking like nonsense, coming in my live stream like, oh, you're in the toilet. You don't win. You're a bunch of losers, guys. Man, who, with his cornball ass, he not even from Chicago. I knew he wasn't. He sounded like an Oreo ass motherfucker. Anyway. Like, he not from Chicago. I already know he wasn't from Chicago. He admitted it on stream on Thanksgiving. And what an embarrassment. That, that's what you call a Chicago Bear fan? What an embarrassment. But, anyway. The concept of winning this game is sitting heat on Trubisky. Have him make all the mistakes that he could possibly make. Stop the run, which we actually not that terrible at it, stopping the run. I mean, we had a one bad game against Dalvin Cook, but that's Dalvin Cook. The Bears' run attack is horrible. So, yeah, send heat. Don't be scared to send heat in this game either. This ain't in the street on turn on. Don't be scared to send heat. I'm going to say that. Also, give him different looks. The defense got to be the main part of why we win this game. And offense, we got to run the ball with DeAndre Swift. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. I don't know if he going to be – I don't know if he 100% fully healthy from that concussion. Adrian Peterson said he's not looking like his normal self with, with a bunch of energy and all that. I don't know why. Maybe he, he still got that concussion or some lingering things going on or he's just saving his energy for the game. I don't know. It could be that. That could be the case, too. Who knows? But the, that that's the game plan. Run, run the ball with Swift, with carry on, with his broken ankles, <laughs> broken knees. He running like he run on spikes. <laughs> he run the ball. <laughs> he run the ball like he like he's taking his first step into a swimming pool. Like, like oh, the water too cold. That's how he that's how he run. He pigeon toes when he runs because he's brittle. But anyway, run the ball with KJ, run the ball with Swift. I don't want to see AP out there. I don't. I don't want to see him. He can't pass block. He's not a good receiver as a running back. And he's not, he don't have the same burst explosion as a running back no more. He don't have it. He just don't have the fire, the juice no more. He, he looked decent his first game or two, but now it, that – that feel-good story has wore off. I don't want to see him out there no more. I'm done. I'm done with that one-yard per carry bullshit. I'm sick of it. I'm done. I'm done. Period. I don't want to see him out there no more for the rest of the season. Matter of fact, we need to get another young running back off, off the streets or something. I don't want to see him no more. I'm done. I know y'all going to be like, what you don't know what you talking about, man, beast. No, I don't want to see him no more. That's another reason why the Lions is so shitty in the run game. That's, a, that's one of the main reasons why we're dead last again in rushing because of APS. We keep starting him and keep throwing him out there like he like he's 2009, like he that AP again. No, I don't want to see him out there again. I don't want to see him out there again. Now, with that being said, use the Hawk man. And you can win this game. Run a swift and hot. That's all you gotta talk. That's all you gotta say. Swift and hot. Use those two, you win. Cephas, you can throw a little Cephas in there if you want to. You can throw a little Marvin Hall, throw a couple deep balls. But you know when Marvin Hall in the game, nine times out of ten, you're gonna throw a deep to him anyway. So they know the game plan. Another thing I don't want to see in this game for so we don't lose. I don't want to see no Jamal Agnew as the wide receiver. He is straight garbage. He is straight garbage. He is trash as fuck. I don't want to see him. I've been saying he's been trash all year. 
but somehow everybody ha act like they have they have death or something. They act like I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at when I'm watching him on film and watching the games live. Like I don't know what I see. He sucks. He can't get open. He's he don't have the same speed he had a couple years ago. I'm sorry he doesn't. And he's not a he's not a, he can't run routes for nothing. Like I don't he can't catch for real. I don't want to see him out there. Why is he taking on so much so much playing time? Why? I don't want to see him out there. That's another guy I'm tired of seeing too. They better they better not use him. I don't want to see him not one time on the field on Sunday. Or I'm gonna go off. I'm I'm done with the Jamal Agnew experiment. It's time to release his ass. He's not even worthy in the special teams department no more. It's time for him to go. I'm done. But yeah, that's pretty much what I gotta say about that. Um, it's fuck Judah Tribe, fuck the Chicago Phil, Phil Bears, whatever you wanna call them, Pooh Bears. Um, we gotta win this game for my own sake. If we, if we don't win the game, I mean, it's going to suck. It's really going to suck. <laughs> it already The season's already over, in my opinion. But it's going to suck, though. This the, is this the only game I don't really want to win for the rest of the year. We could lose the rest of the games. I don't care no more. Because we need, we need to go in a new direction. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'm gone. Peace.